I played for 16 or 17 years, but it could never match the 12 years here in Yankee pinstripes. Joe Torre has dedicated his entire life to the game of baseball. In a playing and managing career that spans five decades, his relentless work ethic as a player and calm leadership as a manager is why the late George Steinbrenner extended the offer to become the Yankees manager 18 years ago. From 1996 to 2007, Joe Torre led the Bombers to the kind of success the organization hadn't seen in decades, winning four World Series titles in just five seasons. Earlier this summer, Torre was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame, and one month later, the Yankees handed him the franchise's greatest honor, retiring his number and making a place for him on the hallowed grounds of Monument Park. The greatest honor that a professional athlete, manager, or coach can receive from the team they've represented during their career is to have their number retired so that no one can ever wear it again. It's time to retire the 17th number and add it to Monument Park. At this time, Joe will now unveil the newest number to be retired by the Yankees, his own number six. Joe Torre touched many people in his career as a Yankees manager. We have some very special people we would like to welcome to the field now who are here to celebrate Joe's big day with him. Coney, David Cohn. Hideki Matsui. Paul O'Neill. Constantino Martinez. Burn, baby, burn. Bernie Williams, Jorge Posada, Andy Pettit. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the warning track and welcome one more special guest that is happy to help escort the Tory family fans to the field, Yogi Berra. Now this time, we take a look back at the Yankee career of number six, Joe Torre. The stretch and pitch. Swung on and popped up again. Off third. Hayes has room. Hayes makes the catch. Yankees win. The Yankees win. The Yankees are world champions. Ball game over. World Series over. For the third time in a row, fourth time in five years, and 26th time in franchise history, they are the world champions. He's meant a lot. You know, he, he, he helped bring back the winning tradition. Joe Torre was the absolute perfect manager for the New York Yankees. I learned so much under him. The opportunities he gave me as a player and as a coach to be able to pick his brain anytime I wanted, to manage the games and make any suggestion as his bench coach. And, and for him, just to respect my opinion and give me the opportunity to do that. Joe Torre had great leadership. He had the ability to communicate on a daily basis with a lot of talented players, you know, that all wanted to play. Mm. Joe was a very special person to me. I feel like if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have had this 10-year career in the majors. Very honest, very fair, very sincere, very giving. Well, Joe Torre's legacy with the Yankees is as one of the greatest managers in the history of baseball. I mean, his streak of being in the playoffs every year that he managed the Yankees. Wow. <laughs> Four World Series championships, six World Series. Wow. <laughs> he had that rare ability to be a manager who was truly a great player. Not far from being a Hall of Famer in his own account. And therefore, he knew how to treat players. You know, his players truly loved playing for him. You know, he could talk the same language as these guys, and they could appreciate it and understand it, and they knew he was in their corner. He, they knew he had his back. As a player, he gave you a lot of freedom and, and told us to be ourselves as long as it wasn't disruptive to the team. 
He had the uncanny ability to make you feel that everything was going to be all right if we stuck together. His demeanor, his style rubbed off on, on the players and, and you know, brought a lot of success to New York Yankees. Joe was great for the players. They trusted him. He kept a nice, smooth ship going. Those were his big strengths, I thought. He was somebody who, although there was a language gap, you know, whenever we're in the dugout, we just saw eye to eye with many things, even though we didn't really speak. He was just tremendous in getting the most out of each individual player. he done it in a quiet way, and he's the best I've ever been around. Joe's got an amazing, calming personality. He would sit there with a blank face, never any emotion whatsoever, no matter what happened. And I learned a lot from that. I tried to control my emotions, you know, feeding off of him. He was awesome. He didn't get overly excited about things, and he was good for the players. Keeping the players nice and calm, that was very important. He was a natural uh, for the Yankees at that time, and he succeeded right away. Retiring a number at Yankee Stadium is truly a great honor. Joe Torre is one of the, the all-time greats, and he deserves to be a Hall of Famer. He's probably done all the things in baseball a guy could do. Just so proud of Joe because he's put his dues in for years. For me, Joe is somebody that I have absolute respect and appreciation for. To walk that tightrope in New York, which is the bottom line was winning, it was just an impossible task. And he walked the walk, he was able to deliver championships to boot, and that's incredible. Joe Torre was a treat to play for and, and to work for. I can't think of a better boss in, in both instances. Taught me an awful lot about class and dignity and how to take care and treat people. Mr. T's like a second father, no other way to put it. You know, I was with him since I was 21 years old. He had a lot of confidence in me, he gave me an opportunity, and he was always very supportive. So we have a, we have a great relationship, a close relationship, still to this day. Joe's success is unparalleled. I don't, I don't think in modern baseball you're going to see anything like that again. That puts you in the discussion for the greatest manager ever. have your number retired for any team is certainly special. But when you're talking about the history and tradition of the New York Yankees, known worldwide, it is a feeling I can't describe. George gave me the greatest opportunity I have ever had in my professional life. I played for 16 or 17 years, but it could never match the 12 years here in Yankee Pinstripes. It has been amazing. But the, the one thing that you never forget and you never lose the feeling for are you people, all of you. The New York fans have made this city a small town, but I also have mentioned numerous times how when you get to this ballpark, you just feel the heartbeat and it's something that doesn't go away. Thank you for that, and thank you for being there. That it's a short distance from the old stadium to here, but it's a long, long way from the field to Monument Park. However, I was blessed to make that journey on the shoulders on some very special players. Thank you very much. <laughs>